In this video, we are going to calculate some descriptive statistics for our data. We have the retirement funds worksheet open, and we are going to calculate descriptive statistics for the three-year return percent for the growth and value funds. First, I want to show you how to unstack data. We have here our growth and our value funds in one column, and we want to unstack the information. With PHStat, it's fairly easy to do. Go to Add-ins, PHStat, and then Data Preparation, and then Unstack Data. And then our grouping variable cell range, we're going to type C1 colon C319. And then our stacked data cell range, we're going to go J1 colon J319. And check first cells in both ranges contain label and click OK. And that unstacks our three year return percent for our growth and value funds and places it onto a new worksheet. Okay, let's say we want to calculate the mean, the median, the standard deviation for both our growth and value funds. Well, I could click on a cell and then give it a heading. I'm going to call it growth. And then in another cell, we'll call it value funds. And then I'm going to type mean, median, and standard deviation. OK. Now, in Excel, I'm going to hit the equal C, equal symbol for the mean, and then start typing the word average. Excel uses the word average to calculate the mean. And then double click on average. And then I'm going to highlight my values under growth. I'm not going to include the label. And scroll all the way down. And then right parenthesis and enter. And that gives me the mean for my growth funds, for my value funds, equal average. And then highlight the values for my value fund. Right parenthesis and enter. And to calculate the median, double click. Scroll down, right parenthesis and enter. And for my val value funds, average, double click, highlight the values for my values, value fund. Right parenthesis and enter, and then for the standard deviation, equal st start typing. And we and since we have a sample, we want to double click on stdev.s and then highlight our values for the growth fund. Right parenthesis and enter. And then repeat the process for the value fund. Right parenthesis and enter. So that gives, gives us our mean, median, and standard deviation for the growth and values fund. 
Now, let's go back to our data worksheet, and we're going to let pHstat calculate descriptive statistics for us. We're going to go to add-ins, pHstat, descriptive statistics, and then descriptive summary. And the raw data cell range, we're going to... We're going to tell Excel to capture the data in the three-year return percent, and we'll highlight from J1 all the way down to J319. And we have multiple groups stacked, so we're going to click on multiple groups stacked. And then it asks us for our variable, our grouping variable cell range. And we're going to type in there C1 colon C319. 31 or C1 to C319. And then make sure you check first cell contains label. And then click OK. Now pHstat has calculated a descriptive summary for us of the mean, the median, the mode, the minimum value, the maximum value, the range, the variance, standard deviation, coefficient of variation, the skewedness, the kurtosis, the count, and the standard error. That concludes this video. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.